Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Womanhood. Womanhood. Are you sincerely that one who is walking like God has called you in this quest that you or others might call womanhood? Because you see, to be a woman is just to be a woman. And that might be whatever your definition of a woman is. But to be a spiritual woman, a godly woman, one must be willing to bring God along in this journey. Now, I'm not going to get into scriptures in this particular message. I just want to bring some wisdom to some people when it comes to womanhood. 12 areas that we need to take a look at and we need to pray about concerning womanhood. There are those young girls who can't wait to grow up and be women that just might come across this message. And so this might be of benefit to you. Are you, are you ready are you ready for womanhood, young lady? And as for the mature women, are you confident? Are you secure? Are you at peace in being a woman? 12 areas to focus your prayers, your meditation, and of course, listening to the Lord on your personal schedule. What are you doing personally to meet your needs or are your needs not being met? And if that's the case, you need to have a personal schedule that's about you and not everybody else. Your work schedule. Is there too much Involved with work to the point where there is no room for family. There's no room for spirituality or is your work unsatisfying and there's plenty of room for everything but it. Body hygiene and appearance. Do you feel content with how you look, how you smell? Do people assume certain things about you when they look at your appearance? Are you tired of the negativity that you are attracting as a result of what you might smell like or what you might look like? Number four, anger management and other personality challenges. Do people... Do people complain about your personality? Are you too strict? Are you too mean? Are you too angry? Are you too impatient? Do you have a lot going on with you? Are you too silly? Are you too energetic? And you don't know how to calm yourself down? Are there some things about you that you might need to see a psychologist? Are you tired of relationship after relationship failing as well as friendships coming to an end? finances are you saving are you limiting your spending are you donating and do you set aside enough money for investing number six spirituality and faith are you taking the time out to study that holy bible to learn how to apply scriptures to your modern day life are you working on that spiritual side of yourself where you sit quiet and you listen to what the Lord has to say to you? Are you getting around like-minded believers who believe like you do? Are you encouraging yourself as well as others? Do you sincerely believe in God and, and are you walking according to the will of God? Number seven, responsibilities. What are your current responsibilities and are you taking care of them like they are supposed to be taken care of? This includes children, the household, as well as your work. 
Number eight, pleasures. What do you spend your time doing? And is it godly pleasures? Number nine, education and training. What do you need to do to further your skills? What is it that you might want to do that you always wanted to do? Have you done any research on what sorts of classes you could take to better yourself professionally? Number 10, being helpful, respectful, and kind. Have you been this lately? And what can you do to improve if you haven't been? What could be causing you to be unhelpful, disrespectful, and unkind? Who or what is influencing you that is changing your attitude toward others? Number 11, meals. Are you eating healthy? Are you preparing healthy meals? And lastly, number 12, fitness. Are you taking up time to do some things that will help you Become physically fit or stay physically fit. Are you active? Womanhood. 12 areas to pay close attention to. Those are just general, general topics of underneath each one. You can add your version based on whatever your challenge is, what others have said what you've researched and the like. But to be a woman, there is so much more than just looks. There is so much more than just wanting this and wanting that. There is so much more than what men have said about you. There's so much more than what you have seen around you growing up. Some folks are 50 plus years old and they're still trying to figure out am I truly all that God has called me to be as a woman am I really walking in the light or am I carrying all of these negative thoughts all of my negative experiences and the dramas and all of this stuff with me That is affecting these 12 areas of my life to the point where now I'm thinking about ending my life. Because there are those. They may not have thought this way back in their 20s. They may have not thought that way in their 30s and 40s. But then 50s come along and they start to look back and they say, what have I accomplished? What have I done? I've been living a lie or I've been living the way somebody else wants me to live. You've got to maintain who you are. In all these areas, who you are, being true to who you are. You cannot deviate from your own script. Once I've written my script out as far as what I want to do in these 12 areas, I'm not going to let the man, the children, the circumstances and whatever else is happening to other people, family, friends affect these areas. When grandma passed away, trust you me, I didn't say, okay, I'm not going to write. If anything, the one book that I was writing, I finished that and completed four more. I'm not allowing myself to have any type of excuses whatsoever. I'm not allowing anyone to take from me what God has put in me. And that is the type of attitude that you have to have if you want to walk this walk with Christ into womanhood in the way that he has intended. Because he is your counselor. He is the one that's going to lead you where you need to be led. You don't let that man lead you. You don't let those children show up and tell you what to do. You are the woman. And even when the man decides that he wants to go somewhere else, do something else or what have you. Well, bye, because I'm still going to be here in my flesh, in my spirit, in all things that God has created. 
And I'm not going to die. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to go out here and do all sorts of things just because that man's no longer there. Same thing for children. Just because you were used as a vessel to bring children forth and you parented them and you invested in them and you did all these things doesn't mean that you got to keep doing and keep doing and keep doing. There comes a point where children, they can come back and say hello. But you don't have to say, oh, and what do you need? You're working on you. Your money's for so long went here, went there. And for some of you all, your money's continue to. But when God says, stop. I got plans. You stop. He doesn't want to hear about your spouse. He doesn't want to hear about your relatives. He don't want to hear about your siblings. He don't want to hear about your children. Just stop so that you can get your blessing. Because there is many blessings in obedience. And you can read the Old Testament and see time and time again. When people did right, God bless. When people did wrong, he cursed. You don't want to be a cursed woman. A scorned woman. There's plenty of examples. A woman that has so much going on in and around her. Filled with all sorts of witchcraft practices. You don't want to be her. Someone told me witchcraft is nothing more than domination. Intimidation and manipulation. And we've got some women that are halting their progress in maturity As a woman, because they want to dominate, they want to intimidate, and they want to manipulate. And I talked about these women in Tell Me Mother You're Sorry. And for some people, that book is going to be a hard read because you're going to see yourself in that book. And for other people, it's going to be an easy read and you're going to validate that uh, the things that I'm saying because you grew up around these women who stagnated their own maturity. They stagnated it spiritually, mentally, physically, because of their domination, manipulation, and intimidation. And they learned all of that from the women before them who are now deceased. Sometimes you got to go back and God will do this. He will move on you to go back to those memories of the deceased relative To piece together why it is that you aren't doing so good in these 12 areas. Let's go over them one more time. Personal schedule. Pray about it. Work schedule. Body hygiene and appearance. Anger management and other personality challenges. Finances. Save, spend, donate, invest. Spirituality. Faith. Responsibilities such as household and work and children. Pleasures. Education and training. Being helpful, respectful and kind, meals and fitness. These areas is what you need to pray about. Those of you all in the network. This is what the Lord had put upon my heart this day. Pray about these areas. And then if you know someone who's not doing so well in most or if not all of them. Okay. If that's the case, then you need to be praying with that daughter. Okay, in Christ or your biological daughter. Because too many people are repeating so much, so much toxic, dysfunctional, negative stuff from their elders. And God is not pleased. Many people started off on the right track and then eventually ended up falling away from the Lord. Some folks were deceived, thought that relatives went to heaven when in all actuality they went to hell. They got deceived because they didn't read their Bibles carefully. God is, God is very transparent when it comes to who's going to heaven and who's going to hell. And I know that we don't want to even think that way. Because it hurts. But truth is truth. And if the the woman or women in the family 
didn't manage to get their lives together on this side. They didn't manage to walk righteously. They didn't want anything to do with the Lord. They were liars. They were drunkards. They were deceivers and all of that. God didn't open up his pearly gates to him, no matter what the minister said and no matter what other people wish and hoped and prayed for. Some of these women, once again, they stagnated their maturity because they refused to do some simple things to get these areas of their lives under control. Wisdom was there. Counselors were there. Psychologists were there. Doctors were there. Wise counsel was there and they refused. They argued, they fought, they fussed. They didn't want to take necessary medication. They didn't want to distance themselves from the toxic people. They didn't want to separate from husbands that were nothing more than players, pimps, hustlers, control freaks, and you name it. And so all of this negativity, all of this drama, if it's not dealt with, then it ends up falling upon the children. They talk about the sins of the father. Well, there's plenty of sins of the mother that's fallen on the children. And the children, well, that was mama. And they the excuse. They, they say, oh, it's okay. It's all right. And the truth of the matter is, if it's not okay and all right with the Lord, then what makes you think that it's going to be okay and all right across the board? A lot of rotten fruit. And if you think deeply on these 12 areas, you can see where those predecessors messed up and why you might be struggling. But it's not too late. And we praise the Lord for just awakening us this day. It's not too late. We give it all over to the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're about to do. Thank you for just speaking to these individuals in the quiet of their homes and elsewhere about all of these things that we talked about. And I pray in Jesus mighty name that they will have the wisdom and the courage and the energy and the determination to do the things that you have willed for them to do in these 12 areas of their lives and that they will be teachers when it's all said and done showing the young women as well as daughters early on what they can do to be better women in the future than their predecessors. We ask these things in Jesus name. Thank you once again for showing your support at YouTube Inum Enterprise 7. Have a great day. Check the description box for anything that might be of interest. You've been listening to YouTube Inum Enterprise 7. If you haven't given, we do welcome donations and thank you in advance. And also, if you need to reach out to me, by all means do so. I'm at Nicole McGuire at gmail.com. Blessings to you.